So this is my solar upgrade 2024 part 2. Uh, it's the second video that I've done on my uh, current solar upgrade. The first video which is called solar upgrade 2024 part 1. Uh, there's a link in the description to that if you want to watch that video. But I will include a brief synopsis of that video. Perhaps uh, a little less rambling. So, uh, six years ago, my solar system looked like this. It consisted of a 10 kilowatt inverter and 16 200 amp hour deep cycle gel batteries. And when the price of lithium batteries started to come down to a reasonable level, I imported these four 9 kilowatt hour LFP batteries and three Growatt SPF 5000 ES hybrid off-grid inverters from China. My original solar system became a standalone backup system, uh, but now my backup is the equivalent of six Tesla power walls in my EV. vehicle to load from EV. So my EV is providing the backup. So my my old solar system that was my original backup and that's really redundant now. So it's being replaced. So back to my uh, latest upgrade. I replaced my original inverter with a fourth grow watt SPF 5000 ES. That has achieved two things. It's increased my maximum power output to 20 kilowatts. It also means that my inverters are paralleled together. And therefore I'm able to charge my house batteries much more quickly. So some people are probably asking why I need 20 kilowatts of peak power. Well, 20 kilowatts of peak power means that at 10 in the morning, I probably have 10 kilowatts available and I'm able to start charging one of my EVs, which will take about 7 kilowatts. I also need to run the house and I want to start to charge my house batteries as well. So let's look at the install. My installer, Tam, has done what I consider to be a, a, an excellent job. Um, we have the three inverters here mounted and uh, he's put the same size framework so you have the four inverters together obviously my main electrics come in here in the middle so uh, it's not perfectly spaced but I think he really has done an excellent job um, <coughs> and I'm still left with quite a bit of wall space for my tools. So originally I thought Tam would remove this box and uh, this is the box which contains the solar well pump controller which is uh, it provides a backup water supply in case my rainwater harvesting system lets me down. Um, so I thought he was going to take the box off completely and just mount the controller somewhere on the wall, but he's managed to do quite a nice, neat job. Obviously, he was restricted by uh, the cables that were there. So I've put a link to Tam's contact details in the description. He's a graduate engineer, and he, he really does know his stuff. So, in addition to adding another inverter, I also increased the amount of solar for uh, the new inverter and the other inverter that was going to be powered by panels on my third floor. So I added four Longi 550 watt panels, uh, so each inverter gets effectively another kilowatt. So what happened to my six-year-old inverter? 
and the deep cycle gel batteries. Some of you are probably thinking that they got buried in a hole in the garden. Um, well, I'm pleased to say that's not the case. Uh, I've given them to a friend to start his system off. The batteries have enough capacity for him to run the house for a few hours if the grid goes down. So overall, I'm very happy with how the upgrade has gone and it certainly made charging my EVs an awful lot easier, a lot less stressful. 